G'day, Jamie Chapman with 3 Minute Histology. In this episode, we're going to continue our look at staining. So in the last uh, three videos, we've had a look at the overall pattern of staining at low magnification with our understanding that hematoxyl stains DNA and RNA, nuclei, um, and um, rough endoplasmic reticulum and eosin stains protein. So we've seen it at this overview sort of tissue level um, and just to give you an impression of early interpretation of slides. So today we're going to focus on um, interpreting uh, this h &E staining at the cellular level. So we're going to really zoom in and have a look at some of these cells and how they're stained with H&E. So let's start our three minutes. So H&E can stain tissues and of course it stains at the cellular level. So we need to be able to interpret what we're looking at under the microscope uh, at the uh, cellular level as well as the tissue level. So we saw in very broad terms, you can generally infer or suggest that this may be muscle tissue because it's full of protein and that this is likely to be uh, largely epithelial tissue because it has lots of DNA uh, and same with this tissue over here. But if we move to the center level, we can actually see that in a little bit more detail. So first of all, I need to get rid of this and when then, sorry, we can zoom in. So we're zooming in here. This is a, a structure called a, a villus. This is a finger-like projection of epithelial cells. This is a simple columnar epithelium. You can see all the nuclei lined up like soldiers in a row, uh, standing at attention. Uh, here's the nucleus, and we can see it's stained um, purple, and so that's been stained by hematoxylin. And you can see these little dots here. These represent the nucleoli. So they're dense little bodies of RNA um, and protein but the RNA is the predominant component so therefore it stains very basophilic whereas the cytoplasm you can see it's very pink so it's very acidophilic or eosinophilic so there's lots of protein there so what protein is staining uh, inside the cytoplasm of the cells? Well, it's largely going to be the cytoskeletal uh, protein, so the microtubules, the intermediate filaments, and the microfilaments. You might notice also that along the surface here, we've got this very acidophilic little border. This is referred to as a brush border and represents uh, the microvilli on the surface of these absor absorptive cells. Now, they're acidophilic for two main reasons. One one is they tend to have um, digestive enzymes associated with their cell membranes on the microvilli and because they're, membrane, they're enzymes, enzymes are proteins, proteins stain with eosin and therefore it's acidophilic. The other reason it's slightly acidophilic is because that uh, in the core of each microvillus is a core of actin or microfilaments and so actin is a protein and it also stains with um, eosin as well. So you can see here we've got some very dark uh, basophilic nuclei. These are different cell types within the underlying loose connective tissue. You can see this is here. And then we've got our, our simple columnar epithelium here. If we zoom along here a little bit quickly, here's a, a goblet cell. You can see its nucleus here, but you can see this region of its cytoplasm here is relatively unstained. And that's because mucus has lots and lots of sugars on the protein backbone, which kind of masks the protein backbone from eosin and from hematoxylin, and therefore it stains relatively unstained. So that's a good uh, take-home message to think about for um, uh, goblet cells. Anyway, that's staining at the cellular level. Uh, hopefully you got a little bit more information about that and we'll have another look at that in a, in a future video as well.